What's up friends of the good mood? This is Money and welcome to a super crazy video right here. A video I have promised you guys a while ago. It's called you only need this one robot, okay? For free for all you really need just need one bot to be able to win if you do it right. We're starting off with the wrong one right here, okay? I'm starting off with the Vortex Spectre because I was recording some video footage, but don't you worry about it. The Vortex Spectre is worthless in free for all which is why i'm scrapping the bot right here if you want to see a full video completely dedicated to showing you why you can't win free for all with a vortex specter even maxed out click the button on the upper right corner right here and open the second tab for the second watch video later because i'm telling you this video is awesome and it shows you why you can't win with a vortex specter but this video here today is about a separate topic it's about the death button raven Death button refers to Orkin and Pinata on a Griffin, on a Raven, or maybe simply Orkins on an Haichi, which would be a Death button Haichi, if you will. So that's a Death button, okay? Some also Exodus would refer to it can be referred to as a Death button. Pretty much all the weapons that have a ridiculous amount of firepower and burst fire pa damage with these, uh, you know, Pinata Orkin Exodus rockets. I've gotten a good amount of kills. I'm first. We have gotten two kills. And I think that after this one here, I'm jumping into uh, the Raven. I focused on the guy who is second because now he's first and he's my direct opponent, right? I could have attacked the hover right there, but I was hoping I might get the hover later, which I do right here. See, I got the hover. It's, it's good that I didn't attack the hover before. If I attacked him before, place number one would have gotten this and I don't want that to happen, okay? I'm jumping out of place number two now, um, out of his range for his spark, uh, sorry, sorry, Scourge, he's, ah, it's annoying me so much, and I'm freaking infuriated, turning around, firing into everywhere, because his 600 meters range is driving me freaking nuts, but I'm in here with my Raven, that has a 600 meter double jump, and massive firepower, all right, so the Haichi is coming up, he wants to know what's happening if he engages me directly, and let's show it to him what will happen, let's show. He's gonna, he's gonna get a lot of damage into me, I know, and he's also gonna be able to dodge some of my rockets with his shielding, with his dash and all that. But I'm in the end even able to outperform him here, even though he had Scourge, which never misses you. Normally, the Haichis very often have Tarans, and when you jump quickly at them with this robot, they won't get to actually kill you because they miss most of the shots when you're flying, right? So I'm coming in here, do I get the full Bulgazari? No, I will not, because we have already two weapons missing. If we have had the other Pinata and the other Orkin, we would have killed this guy instantly, okay? So uh, let's jump in again. He's just, a, he sees me coming, he's like, oh, he's so far away. What is he gonna do? Well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cross all the distance in an instant and get him whooped right after. So, you see enemy 2 still with his Scourge Haichi, he's focusing me the, fr the whole time because I'm the easiest target for him, simply because I have no, you know, I have no shield, no physical shield, and additionally taking me out would mean a lot for him, because he basically gets, gets to destroy the one guy that is in front of him, right? So every kill I'm getting makes it less likely for this guy, second, to score a victory at the end of this match. So if you're smart, playing smart, free for all, you focus the guy that is second when you're first, and when you're second, you focus the guy that is first. Make, destroy every chance for him to get any kills. That's the best chance you've got to catch up to him and maybe surpass him and be first, okay? Just a little side information here on playing free for all, which in my opinion is a fun game mode, but it requires a real power, power beast hanger. Like for example, a bot like this. However, and that's what one of the par parts of this video that I want to show you guys, you don't necessarily need to use a full hanger. You can also go and uh, and just use... See, I got killed by enemy 3. Uh, enemy 5 here with the, is the third by his Orkins, which was awesome, so that he didn't get the kill. Um, you basically don't always need a full hanger. If you have one super good bot and you use it very well, like we do with the Orkin Pinata Raven right here, you can get... Um, you can make pretty much a victory in free for all. That's the tricky thing about it. You either need, you, you really need a power beast hanger in free for all to survive against fully mark upgraded and upgraded Orkin Haichis and Orkin um, um, uh, Spectre. Sorry, uh, brain farting right now. So yeah, you need a power beast hanger to survive against these guys. But 
if you have one really good robot, say it's an Orc Inspector, or say it's a Death Button Raven, and you make use of that perfectly, then you can bring back this one robot over and over again. And basically what you'll do, you're gonna use one robot to win the whole game. And you don't need a full hanger of it, right? Let's see if we can snack this too. Yes, we did. So can we snack him as well? Let's try. It's a hover. He's undoubtedly going to jump up. I'm saving my rockets. I'm waiting for an easy opportunity to hit him. And let's see, he's trying to jump up again. Uh, where is he going? I don't know where he goes now. Is he landing up on the roof? I don't know. I want to get him so once he lands he's got five seconds in which he can no longer da uh, hover around and we got him too so we got three kills the inquisitor the other haichi that lays beyond our beneath our feet right now and the hover all at the same time i get killed now there's only so much you can do but did you see how easy you can snack kills with a death button raven and all we do right now is just reusing the same robot over and over again. And we're not speaking about the most overpowered setup in the game, which would be the Orkin Spectre or the Shock Train Spectre, or maybe the Shock Train Bulgazari or, or something like that. No, we're actually just speaking about a, an upgraded Raven, pretty much, okay? An, an upgraded Griffin that's just slightly better than a normal Griffin is. And we're just securing kill after kill after kill with this one bad boy here, because we can. Uh oh this is gonna be crazy. I'm not sure. Gonna be able to win because he's got so much firepower on these Scourges. Okay, we got it. Phew! 11 kills. First place. And we stole the kill. I f Did we steal the kill from enemy 2 as well? Did we? I'm not quite sure if we did steal the kill right now. I forgot. I would have to go back. Um, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Uh, oh no, he got the kill. Never mind then. Okay, he got the kill. So when you're fighting high cheese with a death button griffin or death button raven, you're pretty much in an, you have a disadvantage. You need to drain their shields before they come around the corner. Okay, in this case it's not a disadvantage because that's a slow ball, uh, you know, carnage. Um, but over there is a shock train uh, Kamiho trying his very hardest to keep me hit, like to keep me in firing distance. And what I try to do now is walk towards the enemy over there and get killed by them, right? I want to get them killing me so that the second place is not going to get the point for me. The problem is he's so mad fast with his with his Kamiho and it seems like no matter where I go or what I do, these guys just aren't doing it. They're just not attacking me. Uh, are they? Come on, attack me. Well, you know what? At this point, I might as well just try and beat him myself. I wanted to just get killed, but maybe I'm lucky. And BOOM! I was lucky enough to get killed. Maybe he can kill me now so that he doesn't get the kill? Ah, okay. That part didn't work. Almost the Tyran um, Lancelot would have gotten me. That would have been a victory for me on every level. I would have been able to not give the enemy the, the next place the kill and I would have gotten a kill myself and given the kill to somebody who's never gonna catch up to me anyways, right? And that's the awesome thing right here. I am waiting for his shock train to jump because let's face it, a Komiho is so fast with his constant dashing that I'm never gonna be able to catch him. I need him to come around to 200 meters range to me, 200, 300 meters range. Then I can try to take him on. But that's, that's what I need to be able to jump at him in a way that he can't dash away anymore fast enough. But he knows that this Raven is so dangerous with his double jump he knows he has learned over the course of this match. It's not no good to be close enough to this thing. He has to maintain a ridiculous amount of safety distance. And uh, he just fired. And what I'm simply gonna do, I'm simply gonna come in and steal his kill here on this Orc Inspector. I decided to go in and wait for a little bit. He just fired, so now there's no danger. Nothing that can kill steal this anymore. And I got it. If I had simply fired at the uh, at the guy before, he would have gotten the kill with his shock train. And now I'm just basically just taunting him, saying, Ha ha, I got you killed, dude. How do you feel about that, man? Sucks to be you, sucker. <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ignore him. Because he only has one shock train left, the other shock train is already destroyed. And at this point, I'm like, yo, man, I know you, you don't... You know, and you know what? He realized that I'm not even firing at him anymore. Look, 
he's just coming, walking right next to me because I told him like, hey, how's it going, dude? And he's like, oh, you want to fool around with me? Okay, you know what? Fine, let's just walk past you. I can't win anyways. So what we kind of do, and that's a really rare thing to happen, we're kind of going for the same enemy right here. I could simply one hit kill him, um, but he's no danger anymore with his one shock train. And at the same time, I just made this Spectre shock train jump, uh, Spectre orc and Spectre jump. And now I'm simply going to get him with my jump right here. And uh, this is it. That is the end of the match, I think. It's a funny coincidence. N not, not even now. Even now he could fire at me. Not even now he does it because you know he's never gonna kill me anyways. So he, so we're on good terms now with each other after we have battled each other for the whole match. And that was really, really an awesome match. And it basically shows you, you only need this one bot. Okay, so hey guys, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.